Even with all the modern technologies of the present day, holograms still feel a bit magical. Three-dimensional objects appear to be right next to us, and they look just like the real thing. But really, they're just light, scattered from the real object, recorded, and then projected. Holography dates back to 1947, when scientist Dennis Gabor developed the concept. To move forward, he had to wait for inventions like lasers, so he called it an experiment in serendipity that began too soon. But soon, everything was about to change. Gabor was right to call it serendipity. His holography theory came as a result of his research in trying to improve the resolution of an electron microscope. The progress stalled over the next decade and a half because there was no source for a pure and consistent beam of light. Finally, in 1960, a breakthrough. The invention of the laser, a source of coherent light from a single source, and just what Gabor and his theory had been waiting for. Just two years later, a pair of researchers at the University of Michigan achieved the first laser transmission of physical objects, a toy train and a bird. The science community quickly got to work building equipment for new holography techniques, white light transmission, rainbow holograms, and gelatin for recording. In 1971, Gabor was rewarded for his pioneering work when he received the Nobel Prize in Physics. By then, holograms were beginning to hit the mainstream, an art exhibit in 68, then another. Luxury jeweler Cartier put a hologram in its Fifth Avenue store window in 1973. A prototype for a holographic movie emerged in 1976. Then, in 1983, MasterCard put the first hologram on a credit card for security. The following year, National Geographic put a hologram on its March 1984 issue, and the 3D Eagle wowed millions of readers. Holograms? had arrived, and they'd become a part of our everyday lives. Today, holography is used for all sorts of applications. Data storage, security measures, recording of fragile ancient artifacts, some digital cameras, even for creating realistic models for facial surgery. But one popular modern hologram isn't. You know those concerts that bring dead artists like Tupac and Michael Jackson back on stage? They're not actually holograms. They're projections that use an illusion effect called Pepper's Ghost. But the mistake proves the ubiquity of the word hologram and the general concept. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.